Guys, Thomas sometimes. Um, hey, what's up, Thomas? Can you see me and hear me? Yeah, how you doing? I'm I doing hear you loud and clear. I'm doing great. How you doing, man? I'm doing well, man. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the invite. I appreciate it. Well, okay, so we're waiting on uh Tazariak to get here, so I'll message him again. He has the link and everything. Uh so sure. it shouldn't be long. Uh but while we're here, uh and before he gets here, what is your read on what's going on on Super Tuesday tonight? I mean, something, a friend of mine, I don't want to put him on the spot, but he's generally pretty good at calling these things. Um, he said that basically his take is the regime has made peace with Trump, and they're kind of trying to finesse public opinion to get used to that. And the Supreme Court decision very much reflects that that reality. Um, so I don't, you know, it's basically going to be kind of the, kind of like the official coronation at Trump. Whereby a lot of these, uh, you know, McConnell stepped down, so yeah. like he's no longer in the picture, and a lot of these people, a lot of these like formerly like never Trump fools, they're gonna do, um, if not, you know, zealously endorse him. They're they're not gonna try and sabotage his his candidacy anymore. Um, so in some ways that's big, but this has been like in the running for a minute, so it's there's not gonna be some dramatic shakeup, I don't think. Yeah, and uh, I, I don't really disagree with that read uh, myself. Uh, and it looks like he's going to romp tonight. Everybody knew that. Now, the captain is here uh, now, so uh, we'll get back to our primary coverage here in a bit. Now, Captain, can you hear me and see me? Yes, I can hear you and see you. Can you? Can, well, I could see um, Peckerwood Thomas when the flyers at Peckerwood. So I could see Peckerwood. <laughs> I can see, I can see Thomas pretty good. Now I see you kind of in the middle, but I see your chat also. Okay, but I see, I see your now, face and I see I, I'll fix the. For some reason, it dropped out in terms of being able to see you right when you said that, which is really strange. Uh, but I'll I'll fix that somehow. I don't know why it would do that, but uh, let me see if I can fix that. Uh, now I'm gonna let you start because it's kind of. Um, you know, it's kind of your topic, right? Um, I think yeah, might... yeah, definitely. I could give a little history as to why. Like, I contacted Ralph for this particular subject. If you want me, I can um, start it off if that if if that's what you want me to do. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, and let me. What did I hit here to knock out the? Okay, let me. Okay, now that should be okay. We're back. I can see you now. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'd like you to start it out because, yeah, it was it was kind of your topic, your idea, <laughs> and I, I I didn't know much about it. I know a little bit about it now, uh, but go ahead and I'll, I'll let you start it off. So you didn't know you didn't know nothing about it. At I mean, all? I had seen it before, um, but I, I didn't really know much about. Like it refreshed my memory once I saw okay. the. You know, I looked up some videos and stuff and watched some of your stuff with WAC One Hundred. Um, and right. so then I kind of remembered that this was a, was a practice that you guys do. Um, but no, it hadn't really been on my, my agenda. Um, but, uh, I'll let you explain it uh, and then I'll let Thomas go. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. So how we, how we got here with Ralph. Okay. First I'm Captain Tazariak of ICBK under command of Jenny Han. I've been a guest on Ralph's kill stream, uh, network for some years now. Maybe I would say maybe four years if I'm yeah. going back in time. Um, I've beaten all of his guests. I think I'm the only black guy in the white guys hall of fame. Uh, you know, I like that part. Uh, <laughs> I think that's true. So anyway, yeah. See, and look, and this, and if I could say about one thing I like about Ralph, Ralph lets me do pretty much whatever I want on his platform. Um, and I respect Ralph for that. And that's why I reached out to him. So how we got here was, um, what I seen on social media, maybe the past, two or three months um, was different people talking about um, black people getting white people or forcing white people to kiss their boots, like to get on their knees and kiss <laughs> their boots. Yeah, th yeah. <laughs> look, Thomas couldn't hold that one in. Yeah, Thomas, I'm gonna I'm show you, so, so let me, let me give, let me tell I you. I mean, there's this. guys who like pay other guys to screw their wives while they watch. People are into all kinds of pervert shit. I mean, yeah, well, what that's what? Just really perverted because this is actually in the Bible. So I want to give you an example. So I want to, <laughs> I want to share my screen so I can show you Go ahead. exactly what I'm, so let me see. Uh, let me see, hold on, before I share, let me see which video I want to actually, Show, I just want to hop. Also, I'm putting this out on Twitter. Right, okay. One on one. Okay. okay. So now I'm going to come back over here. I'm just going to share my You're going to show an example of this? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to show it on the street. 
Okay. Like what, what we're talking about and then the controversy that came with it. All right. Okay. So I'm going to share this, my screen here. So can y'all see this video right here? Uh, yeah, it's, it, yep, I can see it. Okay, so let me enlarge it so y'all get the full full effect, so I'm going to play it. Give David a hand. Hey, hold they shall what? But now, what you'll notice is we They shall bow down to thee. They shall what? Bow down to thee. Bow. If you sorry for what happened to us in slavery, bow. Give David a hand. Now, you on see both Dave. knees. Dave. On both knees. Dave. Dave. And because uh, he's getting on his face knees. towards the earth. If you really sorry for what happened in slavery, this is facts I'm bringing out. Then bow and put your face on the ground. Right. Get that man a hand. Get that Please. man a hand. And lift up the dust of thy feet. Do what? And lift up the dust of thy feet. Now, Dave, if you do this, you're going to impress me, man. That's right. And the Lord may have mercy on you. That's you understand? right. The Lord said to lick up the dust of our feet. The feet of the children of the slaves, which means you need to kiss every boot of the man in this camp. I'm going to skip my ready, day? Let's go. Let's go. You got to kiss my boot if you saw it. You understand? Give David a hand. Every brother. Every brother. Every brother. Put your up in. I got something else for you. Come on. Come on. Let's go. We are the true prophets of the Lord over here. This white man really signed. If any white man hear my voice, it's only do we got most of them, right? I'm going to skip your babies first, right? All right. You understand? Now, you see in the kingdom, she will be royalty. Come on, sis. Let's go. So she now, will be royalty. So that was Come on now. Let's go. So now I'm, I'm gonna stop it for now. Okay. So now the black people, <laughs> the black people that was in the audience, they were also getting their foot, foot kissed, and this was a white man that was apologizing for what his ancestors did. So now what transpired? So now we've been doing this for a long time. This is not like a new thing um, that I should be K that the Israelites have been doing. This is something that we've been doing since like the 80s or 70s or something like that. But it's gotten a lot of attention lately so i myself got into an argument with a black guy over um going back and forth the guy's name was uh whack 100 so we go back and forth and then i saw other black people uh putting it up there and so you had black people saying that they was going to tell on me to white people which is insane like part of the reason why we even do the boot kiss is to erase the uh the stockholm syndrome that we as black people suffer in america and so when he said he was going to do that, so when Wax says he's going to tell white people on me, I said, well, I know white people that I could call and we could actually have a public discussion about it. So I hit up Ralph and I text Ralph. I say, hey, Ralph, we, you know, we haven't done nothing in a while. He said, what you want to do? I said, well, a lot of people are angry about us getting white people to kiss the boot. Ralph LOL'd me, but then he found, <laughs> yeah, he LOL'd me. And then so Ralph, he first got Tommy Sotomayor. So and Thomas Sotomayor is, you know, uh, uh, a crazy type of guy, but he's black. And that wouldn't really fit the aesthetic that I was looking for as far as having a conversation. So I told Ralph, I said, we got to at least have a white guy on here, too, because Ralph is going to mainly be like a mediator. He's not really now he can get into it, of course, but he's mainly going to just be a mediator. So we need a white guy. So then he gets uh, Thomas Peckerwood. Is it, is it actually Peckerwood or that's just for the flyer? That's for Thomas. What do you mean? Like, your, is your name actually Peckerwood, or is that just? No, that's what I am um, categorically. Oh, that's what you are. Cate I'm gonna have to look up that. Somebody look up Peckerwood so we can categorically identify Thomas. All right, so now, so when he got Thomas, it actually worked out, Ralph, because you see, Tommy ran. Like Tommy, Tommy said, "I ain't about to deal with Cap on this subject." Because, and I would, I Stats wanted to know what was no offense what would have been why does Thomas Tommy's position on this. Oh, Peckerwood, no. a white person, especially a poor white one. So you a poor white man, Thomas? Am I poor? That's what the definition of that in the dictionary in the Oxford it says a white person, especially a poor one, another Peckerwood with bad attitude. Would that be Oh the, Peckerwood with a bad attitude, absolutely. But not you're not poor though. I mean everyone's poor compared to somebody. I'm poor compared to Elon Musk, but I'm rich in spirit. God damn. So you like Pecker Rich, not Peckerwood? I mean, like I said, man, everybody maybe, maybe, peck a silver. Maybe, so, peck a silver. maybe you peck a silver or peck a gold. Or so. <laughs> so, but it was good though, Ralph. It worked out because you see Tommy ran. He had to back out. I won't, I won't categorize it as that. Um, he, he did have to back out and it ended up working out. Yes. Because originally it's going to be a triple threat. And then, um, he, he had to back out and then 
So it was good that we had to work out here because we wouldn't have had a show. Uh, I'm a diabolical. That, so. Listen, I'm a genius because had I not said we need the white guy, we'd be, we, like you said, we would have had to cancel. And, and of course, Ralph is not going to say Tommy Rand. I'm saying Tommy Rand. That's what I'm saying. Captain Tazari, I could say Tommy Rand. All right. So that's so how we got here. So I guess from your position, Thomas, when you see that video, is it something that you feel should white people apologize? for what their ancestors did to black people i guess well, we at base that. at base what what's going on here is um it's a fetish and fetishes <laughs> are not always sexual but they often are this one isn't obviously but <laughs> all fetishes are psychological okay but you said this one isn't obviously is that what you said yeah it's obviously not a sexual thing but it is a fetish sexual cut. i got you okay and what's um no what i mean by that is oh you're right you're right what i mean by that is these trashy white people they're descendants of the village idiots they're not descendants of the slave master so they get to pretend like they had some important ancestors they're not actually like walmart shopping corny fucking weirdos and like black folks they get to like get a kick out of heaven this like corny fucking white loser like kiss their feet you know, it's like guys hiring other guys, like bone their wives. It's some like humiliation fetish thing. And I realized that my, my lesser, like a lot of white people are like pretty fucked up and like kind of lesser people who do like really stupid shit. So I mean, like, I, I don't care. I mean, like they're, they got nothing to do with me. Like they're fucking idiots. And like I said, like if they should be apologizing for slavery, well, there's two things going on here. First of all, like I said, these people, they're like the descendants, of the village idiot and like the fucking local, like ditch digger like the fact that they think they're like descended from like plantation owners is fucking really funny because they're not they're, they're like walmart motherfuckers secondly slavery precedes um written language in the fossil record so like you'd be apologizing for some like universal human institution that doesn't make any sense slavery still goes on today like black people enslave black people in africa like white people enslave white people in central asia like it's not it, it doesn't mean anything i mean it's un is it unfortunate probably but i mean a lot of things are unfortunate it's it's not um plus you can't apologize for what your ancestors did like it's not that's not categorically possible it's got to be like the will to atone for something and the person who does it you can't apologize on behalf of other people like that's that's not how it works so, so nobody, yeah so you're saying in history nobody apologizes for what the ancestors have done no that's a bitch made move and i'm not a bitch so i don't do that so wait so like the Germans apologizing because that, you know, y'all like the Germans. So the Germans apologizing. If they apologize, what would they be? I got to laugh out of Ralph. Well, they, I mean, they're an occupied country that were subjected to a genocidal war waged against them by Jews the and communists. I mean, the occupied people are subjected to all kinds of indignities. No, what I'm asking if the Germans apologize for what y'all did to the Jewish people, are they bitch made too? If they're doing it out of their own free will and not because of the enduring occupation, yeah, absolutely. No, if they so if they're doing it out of their own free will, they're bitch made. But if they're yep. doing it another way, what are they? I mean, if somebody's if, if you're an occupied country mm -hmm. and you'll be sanctioned for not abiding certain practices and political rituals and, and opinions, I mean, which is the case in Germany. I'm not gonna hold against Germans for not like rising up against <laughs> that shit when they're literally an occupied country. But what but, I mean, that's all they're on the issue. But yeah, any anyone who apologizes for history and can't take their own side in a fight is a bitch. Wouldn't you think that's reversed, though? Wouldn't it be more bitch made if they did it because of policies as opposed to if they did it of their own free will? No one should do it anyway, but it's no, no, at I, least understandable if there's duress. That's why in a court of law is the concept of duress, because duress removes free will. Well, you could be a traitor under duress. You could do a lot of things under duress. So wouldn't it be more bitch made if you're doing it under duress? That means no, because it's like saying, like, if you sign a contract when I have a gun to your head, that like that makes you a punk. No, like, no, it doesn't. It means that you're under duress. I wouldn't do it, but people are different. That's not the point anyway. And that's weird that you say it's not bitch made to do so. So if you if you tell, so if you're a traitor under duress, that's okay. That's not okay, but it's it, it's it's a mitigating it's circumstance. That's a little weird. And then it's not a little weird. It's universally accepted. It's called logic. Well, tell me how it's universally accepted. Because in a court of law, duress mitigates free will because you can't be said to be acting freely when you're under threat of uh this is just apologizing to life liberty or property but this is just apologizing for something this ain't a threat of death or imprisonment the this apology is just... isn't the threat what i'm saying is that people are placed under duress and abiding certain opinions in the Bundes republic so if there's no, footage so... of germans apologizing and seemingly to be obsequious before jewish interest groups that's why it's not because the culture has made what a decision said... oh we should apologize for this based on some sort of spontaneous right. decision in that direction so what you're saying is that them, the Germans, 
because they can get some political gain from the Jewish people if they apologize. No, that's not what I said. That's a positive it's incentive. Positive. I said duress. No, no, I'm trying to. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to understand. Where is the duress? If they just apologize. The duress is that they're an occupied country. It's against the law to Even carry out an acts country. or make statements that quote unquote undermine the constitution or promote racial wait, hatred. Of, you're in penal jeopardy. Let me finish. finish. Wait, no, no. On oh, that time, gentlemen, in, let, let Thomas finish. In, and then I'll you're in penal go. jeopardy oh. in Germany if you say certain things Let's, that the government disagrees with, including things, specifically things relating to the Second World War. I don't, right. I don't condone it if German people say treasonous things or, you know, genuflect before these sorts of rules, but I understand it because, again, duress is a mitigating factor, and free okay. will can't be said to be present when duress is present. And if you're in an occupied country where it's against the law to oppose official opinion on a historical event, that is what's known as duress in the textbook sense. Right, well, no, in the no, textbook sense, okay. that's not what duress is. Duress in the textbook sense is compulsion by threat of force, coercion, constraint. Yeah, such exactly. A, that's what I just said. Such a well, constraint. Placing someone, in, placing someone under threat of penal such liability a for holding okay. an opinion contrary to that of the government I'm is not duress. To interrupt you. You asked me not to interrupt you. Such a constraint of coercion as it will render void a contract or other legal act entered or performed under influence. The question, the reason why I was interrupting you before, I just wanted a quick uh, question, if you could tell me yes or no. Germ you said Germany is under what now? Occupation. So Germany is not occupied by Germans, they occupy, I'm assuming you're going to say by Jewish people. Germans can't occupy their own country. It's occupied by NATO, which is uh, the armed, so now, so which, which, is, which, which, which is the, that, so let's which is the armed that. element of an incredibly powerful you, gotcha, compilation you, of interests. Got you answered the question. So them apologizing, a German apologizing. I noticed you went straight to the government. When I just said a German apologizing by force, you saying that that's not bitch made. But if they do it a free will, that is bitch made. Yeah, generally. Okay, so if they have, if they feel like what their ancestors did to Jewish people was wrong, that's bitch made. Yeah, it also makes you a race traitor. <sighs> I, I almost can't, I don't know how much I can disagree with that, but that goes right to why we do the boot kiss. And that's why I wanted to have this demonstration. And for, for black people in America, I noticed you call it a fetish, right? So I do want to read the Bible because it's not a fetish for us. This actually comes from the Bible of what your people. What are, fetishism doesn't come from the Bible, but go ahead. No, no, I said, I said, it's not a fetish. I said, I know, you can say whatever you want, but that's what it is. But yeah, go ahead. No, but it does come from the Bible. I'm going to read it. That's how that's how you know it. you and you just said um, the Bible is not a fetish. Did I hear you correctly or incorrectly? Yeah, you're saying that your foot fetishism is in oh, the Bible, oh, and I know it's oh, not. Wait, wait, I mean, wait, you can interpret say, you can interpret say, scripture say, any way you want. Say, so go ahead. All right. No, no. Let's say, I don't mind the ad libs. I'm cool with it. But you just said that the Bible is not a fetish. I agree with you. So I'm just gonna read. Yeah, Isaiah, no, go ahead. Read. Thank, I'm not gonna interrupt. Okay. No problem. Isaiah 49 and 23. It says, "A king shall be thy nursing fathers, thy queen queens thy nursing mothers." They shall bow down to thee, to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. So is that literal or not literal? Well, it's in, it's in the same vein as that it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than a rich man to ascend to heaven. You know, okay. it's, it's, it's not it's not exclusively metaphorical. It's not it's not exclusively metaphorical or exclusively literal. But right. um, you're you're basically declaring that based on your race, you're a king. I mean that that's high idolatry. I, I didn't say I'm, no, I didn't base my race um, on a king because it doesn't say as a I'm a king. No, but that's that that's your notion though. Like no, uh, no, it doesn't say it doesn't say that I'm gonna be a king. It's saying the rulers of this place, the people of this place that are in position of power or ruling, they are gonna lick up my feet. I'm not the king. I'm no, but you are, but you're like, but you're like rich in spirit and they're impoverished in spirit. This don't, I mean, that's point. spirit. this don't say rich in spirit. Let's stay focused. This doesn't say rich in spirit. This, no, says, it's that, this says that you guys, I'm saying you guys, because from our, from a black person's position, you guys enslaved us. You, you were your ancestors. When I'm saying you, it's in general. So if you want to say your ancestors didn't have slaves because you said you're a peck of wood so you probably was the trash of the white people so you might not have had slaves. No, no, no. My ancestors were your master. Absolutely. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Okay, then. So you and your people, it says, will lick up the dust of thy feet, and that's no. what people do. And here, and here's the thing. I also noticed that you made a point to say that these was poor white trash people that was licking up the dust. That, Pretty that, much. 
All right, so what if I show you white women too licking up the dust? They pour white trash too. I mean, there's there's rich white women who like oh, to get screwed okay, by strange right. guys at bars. Like that's just that's a fetish. People video? are in all kinds of perverted stuff. Let me let me let me show another let me show another video. Just 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 another video. I'm sorry. Let me share my screen again. All right, go I'm, ahead. <laughs> Ralph didn't really want to show this one. Hold on, I've wait, seen wait, wait, it, wait. But I, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it, Ralph. Ralph, I'm gonna make you oil. Why right, now? I'm gonna play this one. <laughs> Hold on, here you go, right here. Here you go, a boo, right here. White mama. Here you go. There you go. Uh, there we go. Did you, what did you say? He said, you're going to have my mom kiss your boo? I'm not going to just have her kiss my boo. Here you go. Put that boot up there, too. You're going to kiss my brother boo, too. Here you go. Put the light on it. There you go. I got it. There we go. Next brother. But I'm stop sharing. Stop sharing. But now, why do you think they do it? Now, you already so said this. I, I've seen... I've seen I've seen girls from like good families, like like from good like, families, like, like guys dicks for drugs. Like I mean, women women do all kinds of fucked up shit. Like how, how do speak. I know? But now you just flipped it. Now you just said, I didn't flip it. I just said I said women do all kinds of perverted initially, stuff. So no, I mean, okay. you initially said you initially said poor white trash. Now you said girls, white girls from good families. Which you so you it takes all kinds. It takes all kinds, but generally, like generally, yeah. the only uh -huh. motherfucker uh -huh. who like generally. Yeah, generally, the kinds, fool, generally the kinds of fools. Generally, kinds of fools who like participate in this fetish with you are like Walmart motherfuckers, who uh, who who are descendants of the village idiots. You'd be hard pressed to find people of actual aristocratic background who'd like indulge in that corny fucking shit. That was my only point. Now what? I'm, now what you gonna force me to do? Because like I want everybody to pay attention to the pattern. When I showed the white guy, he said it was poor white people. Now when I showed I didn't say it was poor, I said it's a certain type, and I said he's the set, obviously he's, he's the, hey, obviously he's the set into like chat, fucking low breed. Let me know in my chat if he implied poor. Please let me know in the chat. And on you guys like a fixing on poor. You're calling me poor. You're calling them poor. You're calling this I'm guy rich. I don't know what the fuck going you're on about. What you said. I, don't, I don't know anybody's fucking bank account. I'm talking about class. Class doesn't equal money. Mm -hmm. What Your you guy said. You like to read the dictionary. You should fucking know that. No problem. But Thomas, you said you was a peck of wood. I looked it up. The definition said poor. I didn't say poor. You said you was poor. Yeah, when but you, you're a corny weirdo that anytime anyone says anything, you look it up in the dictionary. You know, there's such a thing as colloquial if language. Something, if I don't know what something is, you're supposed to look it up. Why not know? Colloquialisms aren't in the dictionary, man. Like, when you're in the hood and, like, some dude, like, says something to you, do you, like, open the dictionary and say, like, what does that mean? No, you don't. It's a colloquialism. And you no, pick up what it means by its usage. You do look up what it means well i don't but go ahead i don't understand that because it's because really, i'm not like it's a robot really, like i pick up what words mean by no, how they're no, using no, no, context. No. listen when i when i looked up peckerwood peckerwood to me was poor but you made me look it up i trust dudes I on want... the street to tell me what peckerwood means more than like some faggot who writes for the no, oxford dictionary okay <laughs> they call me crazy if you, say, <laughs> Thomas, if you say somebody that's a peckerwood you thinking about somebody in the sticks somebody like, I'm in Chicago, bro. Chicago ain't the fucking sticks. I'm telling you, no, you ain't getting what I'm saying. When I think of, I'm telling you what I think of when I think of Peckerwood. It's like if you say redneck, you think of some type of hillbilly or something like that. But like you said, you in Chicago, so I yep. had to look it up. So you, the reason why we're going through this poor and rich narrative is because you initially said they was poor. You initially said they was rich. But to get back to the reason why I chose to, um, hold on one sec. If you could bear me one second. Uh, hold on, they telling me they can't hear you. I'm just getting, bear with me one second. I just want to check my audio just to make sure that they can hear you. If you don't mind, Ralph. Well, we're used to technical issues here on the kill stream, so I, I know how that goes. I appreciate it. Let me go back. Maybe I might have clicked something here. Bear with me one second. Oh, I see what happened. I turned the damn share screen off. Yeah, that'll mess with us. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you turn if yeah. you turn the share screen off, it'll definitely stop, but it should yeah. be good. It should be good now. So now the reason why we do this, right? Is so now you just heard you you just said the Bible is not a fetish. And to my, my audience, y'all should be good now. Um, um, the reason why we do that, you said the Bible is not a fetish. So what we do is black people suffer from something that's called Stockholm syndrome, right? Stockholm syndrome is, is of course, I did that happen in Germany? About no, it happened in Sweden. Sweden. Stockholm's in Sweden. Right. So like, that, that, like, like, like these pervy white people who are into like licking your feet, they suffer from it. But go ahead. 
No sweat, man. If that's your cop out, that's your cop out. It's not a cop out. It, it, it's it, a cop it, out. We get this done all over. Then I tell you what, y'all must be some freaky ass white people because we get this done all over the country, all over the country in the UK. Ain't none but freaky ass white people that like to kiss boots, which I ain't surprised because y'all weird in the first place. But now Stockholm syndrome. You is call a, yourself captain and are in defeat, man. Like right. that's fucking weird. I'm not in defeat. I don't, you, I don't apparently you are, but go ahead. I don't suffer from Stockholm syndrome, but my people do. So I just want to, but you probably gonna get mad because I'm reading the definition. Stockholm syndrome is a proposed condition of theory that tries to explain why hostages sometimes develop a psychological bond with their captors. It's supposed to result from a rather specific set of circumstances, namely power imbalances contained in hostage taking, kidnapping, and abusive relationships. So how does that apply to black people? So for black people being enslaved over here for so long, we have, and then as we're enslaved, we get certain uh, gifts, so to speak, from our slave masters. So they give us a sense of freedom, they give us a vehicle, they give us a job, they give us tons of different things, even drugs. They give us tons of different things that gives us a sense of being free, but we're not actually separated from the actual master or the oppression that they still give to us. So when we come out here on the street, I noticed that you said I was a captain. So when we come out here on the street, the Bible, Christ said in John 8 and 32, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. When he said that statement in John the eighth chapter, in the very next verse, you had the, the, the Sadducees and Pharisees who was under the Romans at that time said, we be Abraham's seed and we're not in bondage. And so when we go to black people to try to free them from the same Stockholm syndrome Christ was trying to free them from, they say the same thing to us. And surprisingly, what happens is as we're on the street teaching, because it's a public space, like we're not like right now I'm in my classroom. So we don't allow like whites and Africans and Chinese into my classroom. But when we're on the street, anybody can listen. And so white people would just be walking by, whether we're in D.C. with the politicians, whether we're in South Carolina, Florida, wherever we may, wherever we may be, and they'll hear what we're saying. And when we start bringing out the crimes that they've committed, they want to apologize. Yeah, they're weak-minded motherfuckers, and these people, they could... These people, could, these people could could fuck up a cup of coffee. They're not capable of enslaving an entire race. Like my heritage is, theirs isn't. They're fucking Walmart. Who, who's your in race that's in, that can enslave an entire race? Who is that? Uh, who who's that? Um, the fucking master cast, man. You said it yourself. You, you see how bitch made white people got wait, no wait, backbone wait, and are basically wait, slaves themselves. Now, wait, when you say master cast, remember I don't know these terms. What is a master cast? Okay, you know the language you speak, the way you dress, the food you eat, English, the concepts right. you have in mind, right. like the, eth the the ethical paradigms you invoke. Right. That's from my people. That's but, what I but, gave but, you. But you literally it, don't exist socially wait, without me. Wait, wait, wait. I got you. But ain't it all to your people be getting to bow down? And I'm not being out. down on you about that. It's just a fact. Wait. No, no. I don't. You didn't hear me complain. But isn't it also your same people that you said that could enslave us that's also licking the boots? No, that's because the anybody, any, because anybody would do that. Was anyone that who would, anyone, anyone would lick Anyone who would lick a man's boot is a fucking slave, and they do not have the fucking so you, bearing for it. So they're maybe those, slaves. so maybe those white people are preparing to be slaves. No, what they are, they're the they're the they're the descendants. Wait, wait, of, they're, 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 they're the descendants of slaves. They're the they're the descendants. They're the descendants of, of the masters, right? No, they're the descendants That's of the cap. fucking village idiot. That's cap. That's cap. That's not true. They That's are, absolutely true. They, they are the you, you, you think you think anybody you think anybody they, were, you think, they weren't the descendants. Time. You think anybody you think anybody who had like an intact heritage would fucking do that? No, they're fucking they they they're, they're people ripped out of history. They're fucking you know they're, they're, they're no account motherfuckers. They couldn't even tell you who their grandfather right. is. They fucking their life revolves around Walmart, and they fucking like CNN told them like you hate, owe the black man. They so they're doing that bullshit. You must hate Walmart, or maybe for them there's a condition, right? I'm a I'm a uh pull out some stats. I don't know why you hate uh, stats personally. I don't know why you hate that. There's uh, this thing called white shame, right? How to convert guilt into action, right? It's not written by me at all, but I do research. I have to study, right? So it says, um, I'm just going to read some of this article and get down to the point that I'm trying to make. It says, over the last month sparked by the murder, this was written in 2020, uh, sparked by the murders of unarmed black Americans, a subsequent protest, the national conversation has turned to the country's racist past and present. For some, this conversation includes reckoning with oneself. Have I participated actively or subconsciously in a racist system that oppresses people of color? 
Am I a racist? Asking this question and facing the true gravity of America's oppressive history can plunge people into an overwhelming shame. So would you agree or disagree that maybe it's your slave master's relatives shame that they look at by kissing this boot, they're making amends for their shame, but no, they, that's, that's, that's all they have to do? That statement you just read out, it's an ideologically loaded statement. It's a quintessentially loaded question. It's like saying, when did you stop beating your wife? Saying, right. if you think this, you're a racist. Like, first of all, racist is a meaningless term. It's a floating signifier. Like, like it's it, like, literally a term coined by Trotsky to try and condemn uh, the social and economic paradigm that he opposed by saying this is inherently immoral and bad. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, maybe it's neither. But, like, people telling me, if you don't do this or say this, you're racist. That, that means well, nothing God to me. Is, well, God himself is a racist. So I don't think it was coined by Trotsky or whatever name that you mentioned. God himself is a racist. God doesn't love everybody. He doesn't love all nations. So if we're going to start with who, if we're going to start with the point. Very where, few people are saved, but God doesn't discriminate based on like tribe or ethnos. That's not how it works. He absolutely does. God There's does. people who reject God outright like the Jews, but other people who accept Logos, well, like Jewish he doesn't say people, like, oh, this race is well, bad. God, that's how it well, works. Well, God hates Jewish people too. Like they're, they ain't nothing but another set of white people. So no, God, not. yes, they are. That, no, that's the Yeah. The Jewish man. You're, you're talking about group anatomy, yeah, but that's not what race is. Hold on, group anatomy. Y'all from the same tribe of Esau. They're no. Yeah, yeah, no. You know, yes, they are. I know that hurt a little bit, don't it? That yeah, they don't hurt. It's just, it's like you can say I'm Chinese. It's just like not true. I can say you Chinese because like you ain't from Moab, so you're not Chinese. But if we're talking about the Bible, remember, in the Bible it says you can't even and you can't intermarry, and that Israel was supposed to be above all nations. That is racism. To put a nation. And say that this nation should be the top nation above all. That's nations. not what it said. It said that they were that they were the, they were the subject oh. of the covenant, and then Christ, oh, no, no. and then when and hold on, yeah. and then when Christ Christ arrived on Earth, Christ was Logos incarnate, and that neutralized the original covenant. So like Jews lost their elect status. Okay, That's what it happened. Good, it wasn't God saying like this race is good, this race is bad. And like the Jews who rejected Christ, yeah, mm -hmm. they're on the outs with God, but that's why it's not like because of their DNA or something. Well, now we're getting into a good conversation. So Deuteronomy 7 and 6 says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, the Lord God, thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people upon the face of the earth. That's what racism is. Racism, then when you look no, up, no, but it's it depends hey, on like hold, what, hold, up, hold up, let me finish. Appreciate it. Also, you're, you're saying that you're you you're saying that like your wisdom is superior to that of God's, and like that's fucked I'm up. I'm not saying my wisdom is that superior of God, but if the scriptures say let God be true and every man a liar. So if I'm reading that God said he chose you to be above all people on the face of the earth, that's not equal. But why that's did he do that? He didn't do that because he's like Jews have the right DNA. And I'm not even so, wait, wait, wait. Uh, what's probably hard, the reason why it's hard for you to have this conversation is because your brother, the Jewish man. No, I'm he, not. He, he's if brother. anybody is, you are because like you, you're the no, worship no, the Jews, literally. Brother. We don't worship no damn Jewish man. Are you crazy? But you're wearing a star of David, man. You're wearing a star of David. Like you literally this, worship the Jews. This is not, you know, stars don't have points. Stars is a ball of gas up in the sky. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Yeah. See, I'm a teacher today. So now, if I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not the one wearing the star of David. Chose, if God said he chose a people to be above all people, that's what racism is. When you look up the word racism, no, racism is thinking that your race is superior to others. God set Israel to be superior to others, not Jews, not the Jewish man. The Jewish man ain't shit. I'm, listen, I'm with you. I, I hate your brother like you hate your brother. I don't hate anybody. You hate the Jewish man, though. No, you, I, don't, I don't hate anybody. Why would I hate people? I don't know why you don't want to say this is a kill stream. We got the freedom to say <laughs> what we want on route. I say whatever I want. I don't say what I want. And the part, that you said, the part that you said about Christ being the Logos or being God, that's cap because Christ didn't come for all nations. That's not what I said. Not all people you can said, receive Logos. Those who can. When you, say, when you say not all, when you say not all people, what I, the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is a lot of people believe that in the Old Testament, like you just said, you said Jews, but I would say Israel got the covenant. But when Christ came now, if you believe in Christ because he's this Logos, as you said, that now you have the opportunity. So now an uh, Asian or a black or a white or something like that can now be a part of that. What I'm well, yeah, saying, the kingdom of Christ is the new Israel. Right, the king, That's exactly right. So what I'm telling you is that the kingdom of Israel is the same kingdom. It was the whole time, which is just the nation of Israel. If I could just read two more verses, uh, in Deuteronomy 7 and 7, it says the Lord. Now, this goes to show you that this is God. That's a racist of his own words, not me. This Deuteronomy 7 and 7. 
The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you because you were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of the bondmen of Egypt. So it's God, who's a clear racist, that chose to love Israel, not because they was the most people, but because he made that no, covenant. That's not, but you're deliberately misinterpreting like why God chose the Israelites. He didn't do it because, because it. of their race. He did it because they were the subject of the covenant. That's because, they could, because, they, because they could accept Logos. They accepted monotheism okay. when other people worshiping idols. That's why. It's not because God said, I like this race. They're really dope. Like That's not what happened. Okay, so you partially correct. Because you're saying, what I say, correct. no, 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 no. The reason why I'm saying you're partially correct is he didn't choose him for a race per se. He chose him because of Abraham. So Abraham, yeah, had Isaac, point. right. Abraham had Isaac. Isaac had Jacob. Jacob became the Israelites and that's who he loved. But once he established that covenant and love for Israel, Israel is to be above all nations. You know what he says about the other nations? Yeah. When, you read, when you read Isaiah 40 and 17, he says the other nations are unto spit. Yeah. No, yeah, no they're, right, they're, they're pagans, they're right, idolaters. Wait, okay, why do you say that? Okay, hear me, hear me out for a minute. Why did he say that? They were practicing child sacrifice. They were worshiping idols. That's why. Like, they were, they were essentially worshiping Satan. I mean, that that's why. Okay, it's not because he's like, that. those races are bad. It's because they were they rejected Logos. They rejected the God, you know, in favor of, uh, you know, worshiping Moloch or Baal or whatever, and they... And the Canaanites, if you believe scripture, literally threw children into the fire. You know, I mean, that's that's why they were out with God. It's not because they were like the wrong tribe or something. Anyone right. like Jews are like a special tribe because of like their DNA, like they claim today. Like that's completely that's that, that's that's blasphemous. It's not just wrong. And you know, before Edomites were born, God hated them, had nothing to do with idol worship before they were born. Like, uh, like yeah, but that's that's uh, I mean, that, that that comes down to that comes down to predestination and a lot of other things. Well, that's that's your people, though. That, that's where you descend from. So in Romans, the ninth chapter, when he says, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, but that the purpose of God, according to a I mean, I'm not I don't. So he is just flipping identity like, Christianity in his head. Like you, you you're just like the guys who claim like a black man is a descendant of Shem and is like the mark of whatever. Like, I, I don't accept that. I don't know about the mark, but we are the descendants of Israel, the true ones. You guys are the descendants of Esau. So in Romans the ninth chapter, it clearly says, "No, I'm, I'm the I'm, 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 I'm the descendant of Caucasus marauders who uh, well, Edom come who, from. Who mastered Equestrian well, and conquered uh, conquered you the go, Central Asian and European right. landmass. Gotcha. Where did Esau dwell? Do you know? He the whole Caucasus that you just said. That's Edom. Esau was a cave dweller. He dwelt in he the. Came, he came in the Near East. He may he may have been, but it wasn't the Caucasus. It was in the Near East. It was right. in uh, it was in what would now be. In proximity to the Mount Ararat and all that. Right. So when that's you, not like a process. That's, that's, that's what we consider the Middle East. Yeah. When you read Obadiah, it says, The pride of thy heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. He was known as a cave dweller in the Bible, and you guys call yourselves cave dwellers today. That's the caucus of the mountain. <laughs> the caucus yeah, is the yeah, it's, yeah, it's, the caucus is yeah, not, yeah. not caves. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The caucus mountain. That's where y'all y'all came out the mountains, mad as shit, too. I mean, that, that's uh, uh subject. Now, now you're talking like that's like <laughs> NOI shit. Like uh, NOI. I've never heard anybody call me a caveman since I was fucking talking to the talking no, to the five N NOI believes some big head scientists created y'all. I'm not the NOI. No, but they but they call they call whitey cave dwellers. I just hadn't heard Y'all call since. yourselves cave dwellers. You can't get mad at the NOI. I don't get mad at anybody. I right. I know NOI dudes. I fucking I've, I've recorded them for my content. Yeah, but, when, I don't when think, say, but when you say that the NOI says. Y'all were made out of the caves, but y'all say y'all was made out of the caves. You I'm can't not, I, I've actually never said that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you just said that. So I, I just I, said that. No, I did not just yeah. say I'm a cave man. So now that we yeah. established that God is definitely a racist, he hates Esau. That's where white people come from. What we have to do as black people in America, the point of that boot kiss, and what I will, what I do like about you, Peckerwood, is that it's rare on Ralph's channel that we read a lot of scriptures, but I was able to read a lot of scriptures. So yeah, I'm a Calvinist, man. I, I, read, I grew up reading scripture. I should do it more now as a grown uh, up. Don't read it no yeah. more. No, you don't need to read no more scriptures because it ain't for you. It's like it's like if I get the <laughs> it's like if I get the American Captain, Constitution. You talk like that ain't for me, right? One song. Do you think that's for From me? Snow that's not comparable. Head. I mean, one Fuck one basic procedure code and one for the God. Give him a hand clap, man. Give him a hand. 
I like honest white men. I, I love honest white men. You see what he said? I, listen, I hope to my black audience, listen to Peckerwood. Peckerwood said it is not comparable. Why? Because when the American Constitution was written, we were slaves. It wasn't written with us in mind. When they say all men are created equal, we were not the men that it was thought of. And when the Bible was written, it wasn't written for all people either. So when Christ came or when Moses came, it was. Well, I mean, that wasn't my point. My point is one's the word of God and one's a criminal procedure code. So uh, <laughs> well, they got the same principle, though. When it says all men are created equal, it's not included. That's Jacob, that's Jacob and bullshit thrown in there by Thomas Jefferson. That's also not true. But um, what's not true? What's not true? All men are equal. That's fucking retarded. Thank you. My, that's my point, because we were slaves. So how could it mean all men are equal? When they killing us, raping us, doing all that evil to us, but all men are equal. I'm in agreement with you. And that's my point. And the Bible is the same way. The Bible is the written will and testament to the children of Israel. It's not written to everybody. So that Jewish man that stole the records is no different than the Christian white men that stole the records as well. So what we have to do when we go out on the streets, the reason why I showed that video with them black ladies getting their boot kiss, the only way to counter the psychological destruction of black people is foot it's, fetishism. No, not it. It's like you now you minimize it to foot fetish, right? But you know what a black I'm person not minimizing it. It's weird. What a black person that has looked up and idolized white people that have grown up in fear of white people can see black men on the street talk aggressively to other white people, white women and white men, get them on their knees to apologize. <laughs> That's how you free mental oppression, because all their life they think we support. Yeah, you know, but anybody, but any, but my point was at the beginning, like at the start, like anybody no, who would do that is do a that. punk. Don't do that. Don't do that because you first said they was poor, but then you said they was rich. No, I said I'm saying now anybody who like do that, all over say, the place. here we are. No, uh, anybody, uh, anybody, I'm here. I'm here. Anybody who do that is a punk. So I don't see how I can alleviate your anxieties in that regard, because like no fucking no no like white man who stands on his own two feet would fucking do that. So now, if, 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 you, if you told me to do that, I, I'd give you, I'd give you like a twenty for the because you made me laugh, and then I fucking, uh, and then I'd fucking walk on. So now so, you saying, so now you saying that they're a punk. The white man is a punk. That's fine. Whatever you no, want. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying those guys aren't white men. They're punks. There's a difference. They're the kinds of guys who go to prison right. and are like holding on to a guy's pocket. You can, you can be a white, listen, you could be a white punk. Oh yeah, there's plenty of white people who are punks. Right. Like, I don't have any one of them. That's why I don't do that bullshit. That's why yeah, I fucking answer. Hey, hey, with a name like Peckerwood, I'm definitely not saying you a punk. But them oh, white yeah. punks, no problem. Them white punks and white women, no, don't distract me right now. Them white punks and white women that get on their knees, if you whatever you want to call them as a white man that think they should not, that's on you. But when we're on that street, for my people that are watching, that frees them from psychological oppression. Would you at least now let's say if it was reverse, let's say if we had you enslaved and then you see. Uh, black people and you get them down there. You don't think that psychologically that that would free white people from their oppression or what they feel like they're oppressed? No, I don't. That's cab. That's cab. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you, precious man. Uh, it ain't. A, <laughs> see, now, you know why you say foot fetish? Because it offends you, when especially when I showed that white. I'm, I'm not offended. I think people who kiss you people's not, feet or in the feet are foot fetishes. Ain't kissing a foot literally. He's kissing a boot. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's so it's a boot fetish. fetish. Some no, guys like some some guys are into like girls right. with big breasts. Some guys right. are into feet. I mean, I'm, I'm not into any of that shit. What we what we're into is justice. What we're into is freeing. That's why I read John eight and thirty two. Ye shall be free. The mentality that black like black people still think that they should vote for a president of the United States. Still think they should go into the white man's church or white man's religion, build up white America. The only way to counter that is to inspire them and and. The boot kiss is just like one of many things. Us even being on the street corners, if we say the white man is the devil, we the children of the Israel, of the Israelites, stop using this drug, stop aborting and stuff like that. There's other things that we do right there too. But when you get a white, and maybe you would have to be black to understand, or maybe you would have to be oppressed, which your day is coming, but maybe you would have to be oppressed as well to understand what it means to a black person that sees another black person getting a white woman or man willingly to get on their knees to apologize for what their ancestors have done because we're the one race that has never really gotten an action apology what i mean by action apology 
the Jewish man get apologized. They give him millions of dollars. The damn New York governor just gave him 185 million. So they don't just apologize. They put action behind their Yeah, but the thing is, like, you know, you got to, like, you, you know, there's not uh, in war and peace and in fucking history, there's not any felonious conduct, man. Like, there's not, there's, there's not, there's not, a, there's not, I'm sorry, this shit happened. Well, stop, stop from the beginning. Say it again. I'm going to get what you just said. I said in war and peace mm -hmm. and in fucking history there's no there's no fucking felonious conduct man you know like if you get caught lacking you get enslaved or you lose or you get took the fuck down you mm -hmm. know like there ain't no apologies anyone who would apologize is a fucking bitch that was my point right so what do you think I mean, if you got foot fetish or if you want if you want like bitch made white people to be like right. oh I'm so sorry man it's like those them people aren't capable of shit anyway they're not the people they're not the people if shit got lit you'd have to deal with anyway because they're fucking pussies but um you know, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm gonna tell you. Like, you shouldn't give a fuck anyway. Like I, I mean, I'm a fucking, I'm basically a minority of one where I'm at, and I mean, I just, I don't come at nobody like disrespectfully, right. like man to man, and like, I mean, that's cool, man. That's like basically all you old people, you know. I'm gonna tell my audience something. My um, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, my this cat Peckerwood, he's for the slaughter. I'm just letting y'all know now. <laughs> He don't want to try any time, man. Now, I'm, wait, 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 wait. I'm explain. I'm explain <laughs> what I mean. Listen, because Ralph, Ralph was like, "Oh God damn, Cap, I can't bring you back no more." That's what I mean. Is like, so for what we teach, right? We teach that there'll be those that are going to kingdom that'll be slaves and apologize, and then there'll be some that are just firewood. Peckerwood is saying he ain't, he ain't gonna be a German bitch like his German bitches. The German bitches that he had that apologized that he felt his bitches. He's not gonna be them. You would just take the death, is what you're saying, Peckerwood, right? I mean, you could try. Like I said, I, I don't think it'd work out well. <laughs> no, for I'm you. not coming to. No, no, no. <laughs> this, I'm not talking about. I'm, no, no, I'm not, no, I know. I'm just talking okay, about. Okay, okay, gotcha. So, yeah. yeah, I'm not talking about me doing anything to you. No, no, I, I know, man. I know. But if you on the chopping block and you got the choice of apologizing, getting on your knees and apologizing, or death, you choosing death, right? Yeah, I mean, it's going to happen sometime it's, anyway. That's what I meant when I say he for the slaughter. So everybody can understand. I don't, you know, I, don't, I ain't saying that. I got to, uh, I got to raise up in a minute, man. Yeah. Uh, we can do this again next week if you want. I don't mean to like be abrupt, but um, yeah, they say there, they're, they're like questions they anybody's asking or anything you want me to cover. Yeah. Well, I was going to ask, and maybe you could play off this too, but before you go, I figured it would just be an hour anyway, but. Um, no, no, yeah. Um, this whole thing started, Captain, because some black people disagree with you. Uh, Whack yeah, 100. Uh, and I know you were tight with him. Uh, and I, I've yeah, seen you do some I content was. with him. And I think you were yeah. in the Yay interview with him as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so I was just going to ask your your reaction to that. Uh, and I know he, he trashed you basically on Adam 22's show. Yeah. I saw that clip too. And he kind of turned. Hey, Ralph. <laughs> hey, Ralph. It's kind of a bad energy on that show, man. Like, I'm not talking some shit on Adam 22. I mean, I, I, I'm going to hold my peace on that, but there's like bad energy there, man, I think. But go ahead. Now, Ralph, um, I, don't I, desk, I do not have a problem answering um, because you're so kind to me on the show. And so I think on the No Jumper show, I think, didn't Ralph, excuse me, didn't Wax say I had a white mother? He did say that, yes. <laughs> I was surprised to hear that. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> He did say that. We played the clip, and I, I yeah, I like like that. I was mind boggled when they so when I they was too. Clip, yeah. yeah, when they sent me the clip and said, "Yeah, whack on no jumper," said you got a white mother. I, so what what bugged me out the most is I said, "Well, where is he getting his intel from?" Like my mother is not white at all. Both of my parents are black. So me and Wax fallout is over this subject, the boot kiss. Yeah, like we didn't have an issue. We now and, and for the record, I want everybody to understand I'm answering this because Ralph asks and like Ralph lets me do what I want. So he deserves to get a full detailed answer. So a couple of weeks ago, me and Wack is on his uh, on the 100 side on Clubhouse. And so as we on the 100 side on Clubhouse, we didn't even start talking um, about the boot kiss at all. We was talking about vegan versus meat and different subjects. And so he brought up the boot kiss. And what's interesting? Did you have, did you play the uh, the content where where um, he told Adam to kiss the boot? 
I didn't hear that. I just saw his clip uh, and a little bit of you guys' brother. discussion. Okay, so while and, I, and he oh, did say you had a white like, mother, and I was baffled by that because yeah. I didn't think that was hey, true. Hey, but, hey, uh, hey, Ralph, did a part of, did a part of you think we might be related? <laughs> Well, we do get along pretty well, uh, you know. I, I, I was shocked to hear that, and I, you know, I, I thought it was bullshit, but then I was also like, maybe he knows something I don't know, right? Like I, I never heard that, but uh, you didn't, it didn't strike me that way that you had a white mother. Nah, no problem. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to find the the um the clip where he tells Adam to kiss the boot because of me. And the reason why I'm gonna find that clip is because what makes that interesting is because Wack goes from supporting me like whack brought me on the show like you just mentioned that he brought me on excuse me i interviewed kanye west yeah. through him um hold Which on I, a big I just, spot. by the way let me let uh thomas get his final thoughts in here because i know he's okay, gonna no bounce problem. and i figure we only had him for about an hour anyway and it's coming oh, up and on then I'll, I'll yeah and it then down. you That's... can finish with that uh but just uh final thoughts here thomas and and you could weigh in on on anything else you want and promote your stuff too here yeah you can find me you can find me on Substack. That's probably where I'm most active these days, man. It's uh, real, R-E-A-L, thomas777.substack.com. Um, I'm on I'm on Twitter, man, um, at real, capital R-E-A-L, underscore, number seven, H-O-M-A-S, 777.com. I got um, a T-Gram channel again. I apparently, I get nuked off there, man, for, like, fucked up and frivolous reasons. Well, it's like the man, I think it's, there's a strong like Ukrainian element to um yeah. their uh I, I don't even know they're publicly traded, but whoever like the control group is there, like on the private side. And like if you trash Ukraine, they'll like fucking ban you. But then there's I stopped doing that because I was consciously aware that they're sensitive about that. And I got I just got like arbitrarily nuked. But I, I do have a I do have a Tgram channel now. It's it's mind phaser. It's named after the podcast. Um I mean that's basically what I'm up on. I'm I'm trying to get some more long form stuff done. And I'm hoping I'm working on this book. I want to get done hopefully by October, November, man. Um, I'm probably going to publish it through Imperium because they've been very good to me. But that's basically what I'm what I what I've got going on at the moment. And, and thank you very much for hosting me. Man. I love it, I and really, thank you for filling really in. Like I said, it. I you know it was kind of short. I, I didn't mean it's to be abrupt, man. It's no, just, no, it's a really fucking hectic week. I appreciate you coming, man. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, no, it was I good talking too. to you, Captain. Um, and we'll get you back yeah, on soon out, to uh, talk about politics and, and uh, you know, the war, geopolitics and stuff like that, too, because got a lot of stuff I'd like to talk about on that front, too. So, no, uh, just hit me up uh, next week or the week after. I could probably give you two hours if you give me like a few days notice. Yeah, it's totally up to you. Like, no hard feelings if you want to do that. But no, I'd wanna, love to do that. I'd love yeah, to just hit that. me up, man. You know how to get hold of me. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, be good, Captain. It was good to see you again, hey, man. No problem. Anytime. Thank you. Next, right, thanks. Thanks. The subject. next Appreciate time you can pick the subject and I'll come back. All right. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Um, All right, fellas. All right. Good. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, All right, so Ralph, I want to share my screen. I want to play this video real fast so people can see, just so I could kind of get like a timeline. So in this video, I'm about to play right here. Um, hey, white guy. <laughs> Y'all took credit for building America, and you know goddamn well you didn't. I wasn't there. So, you, ever, you ever hear that you shouldn't be judged by the sins of your father? Bullshit. Apply that to the white race. Thank uh, you. Captain Tazariot and the Hebrew Israelite says you should pay for your father's sins. Kiss the goddamn boot. You seen him do this shit, right? <laughs> I stand on that shit till I die. Yeah, I'm on that shit till I die. I've been way too long. That's my time. All right, so I'm going to stop that right there. So when I did that, um, okay, I see how I stopped the other share because I, I think I had clicked the wrong one. So stop sharing that one. I think I clicked the right one. All right, so as you can see, like I was saying earlier, like he plugged me with Kanye West to do the interview with Kanye. Was interested, Ralph, February of last, February of this year, we had this issue. February of last year, there was a, another fake issue because these are not real issues. This is shit he made up. So like last year, he created another fake issue and then he came in and contacted me and the reason why the no jumper thing came about was I was supposed to debate Richard Spencer. Um, Ralph, you know, I've been trying to get Richard yeah. Spencer. I even asked you if you can get Richard Spencer. So he has said he can get Richard Spencer, wanted me to come on the no jumper to debate. And Richard Spencer ended up uh, backing out. And so I was in California. So he brought me on the show. So a couple of weeks ago, we going back and forth over the boot kiss. And he's saying his position is that us making white people kiss the boot is going to make like Aryan type of whites start harming innocent black women and children 
because we making them kiss the boot, which was strange to me because we've been doing this for like over 40, 50 years and it hasn't happened yet. And so I ended that conversation by saying this. I said, if you want us to stop making white people kiss the boot, then you have to actively uh, go into the black communities with us to stop gang violence. Because one thing we do know is that innocent men, women, and children are getting killed from gang violence. So that was like a Monday. By Wednesday, they was doing a room like, uh, F cap, we're going to expose cap. So I don't know what caused the flip. Now, me being slightly a conspiracy theorist, like I ain't really <laughs> all the way a conspiracy theorist, I would say maybe some white man told him, you got to stop cap being talking like that on your show. But I could talk however I want on your show, so sure. I don't know why, they, why there's an indifference or anything like that. So I don't have a direct answer as to what his issue is with me. What I can say with 100% certainty that I've done nothing to him. Even, like, you see this shirt I got on, Kiss the Boot? I see that, yeah. I was looking at it earlier, yeah. Now, I didn't know that my school had this shirt made already. When I was on the phone with Wack, he said to get a shirt called Kiss the Boot. He said, hey, man, you should call yourself Captain Desaryak, a.k.a. Kiss the Boot, excuse me, Mr. Kiss the Boot, a.k.a. Mr. IHBK. So he was, like, with me with the joint. So I don't, I don't really have a direct answer as to why he's like that only thing i could say is that i'm not affiliated with him anymore but so i don't have a i don't know how to tell you like what was the camera that broke the back i don't know yeah I, it was just, just it was really strange and i know he's he was, he was a big promoter of yours and like you said you know i forgot he'd said that uh try to accuse you of having a white mother it was a really kind of a personal yeah. attack uh, <laughs> honestly and i was like what the fuck when i was watching it because it was really nasty, right? Like, I mean, yeah. um, well, you know, he's he trying to hurt yeah. your cred with black people, kind of, right? Yeah. To throw that out. That's what he's trying to do, wasn't it, right? Uh, he's got a white mama. Yeah. This guy's talking part of it, I'll tell you, part of it is like a lot of what Wack does is content driven. So even if it's not real, if it's fake or whatever, yeah. if it drives content, and that's the, that's the bad thing about social media. Like, you could just make up anything about anybody. I've had a hand to me. You, yeah. you know what I mean? So. Yeah. I guess he thought maybe saying I got a white mama was supposed to make me lose people, right. but I ain't lose nobody because everybody knows I ain't got my white. I'm about to say my wife. My mother's been to my cookout. My mother's my mother birthday. That is crazy as hell to me. I would have thought like maybe say like I don't know. I don't. know. I'm trying to think like what else could you say? Like, but it, now because like for an Israelite saying I got a white mother, if I had a black father, I still would be black. So it wouldn't even be enough to say I got a white mother. So even if I had one, if my father's black, it wouldn't stop me from being black. Now, if he said I got a white father, then that would give more credence, which is why I didn't take it as serious as a lot of other people took it. A lot of other people look at it like, damn, Wack said he got a white mother. Maybe he do got a white mother. I looked at it as Wack is a troll, and Wack, that's Wack trolling. That's how I looked at it. But at the same time, I'm not going to affiliate with that no more. So... Yeah, and I don't blame you. And, and again, you know, I heard it and I didn't believe it, but I was like, I, you know, where is that even coming from? Right. Like, I, I, I never heard that <laughs> before. Yeah. So I was like, sounds like bullshit. <laughs> but like, I, you know, I never right. asked you about your mama. Like, I wouldn't because it has nothing to do with the show. Right. Like, I, it would never right. even come up in the first place. The so, subject, I can see asking, but if yeah. mama ain't about the subject, why are we talk about mama? Yeah, before? I know. I don't know. It was just really <laughs> weird. Uh, and yeah, you know, if he's just trolling, I have to deal with that too, where people just make up some shit. Yeah, and some no people like way. that type of entertainment or, or whatever. Yeah, and, that, and, um, and the thing about Clubhouse, where he said it at, and even with the Adam, they thrive off of what they call plays and fake narratives. So it don't even matter if it's real or not. It's like, what can get the people in the room? I'm going to fill a room up. Okay, Cap's mom is white. I'm going to fill a room up. Yeah. But after that's over, you destroy your friendship over a lie. Now there's no friendship no more over a lie. So because if a person snakes you once, you might let it slide or something like that. But to snake me twice, I just can't affiliate it with that. So, yeah, and I have the same principle. You know, I'm kind of a forgiving guy and I've welcomed people back. And, you know, usually it's a mistake, though, I'll say, even after the first <laughs> snaking, because uh, if they'll snake you once, they'll probably snake you twice. Uh, and I found mm -hmm. that out the hard way many times. Uh, yeah, and so, sometimes it's, it's a gamble because I always give people two chances. Yeah, I try to do and, that too. Yeah. And it's a gamble. It's a, it's a gamble in the sense that there's some people I gave a second chance, it worked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had it happen too. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's, it's only that the ones that don't work out seem to stand out more yeah. for us because he'd be like, God damn it, why did I even try? I ain't trying no more. And then the next person come, you give them a second chance. But, 
for, for us as Israelites, we always are looking to give, you know, our brothers second chances. And although I'm not going to affiliate with him anymore, I don't wish no ill or nothing. He, you know, I hope he has the best, you know, be the richest, wealthiest man on the planet. I'm just not messing with him no more because I would never trust him. And if I can't trust you, then I just can't rock with you. Yeah, and I, I completely understand. Uh, and it's happened to me, but I figured I'd ask you about it because that's how this whole thing kind of started. Yeah, uh, definitely. In the first and place, I think so. it worked out pretty good, man. I made my man Peckerwood run off. I know he only, I thought he was going to do two hours. I was well, hoping I, was, I, I figured he might just have an hour. Uh, we okay. could do another discussion, um, another hour with him. He said he could come back for a couple hours uh, in a couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, definitely. If you let me know, or anybody. Like, if yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't know how. Richard Spencer, I don't know if y'all cool or anything. Well, you know, like that. we were cool, and he's been on the show a lot. But uh, I don't know if he's ducking the kill stream now. I, you know, I don't want to throw any shade, but uh, right, right. It seems like he might be. Um, but because yeah, uh, I, th I think that would be huge to have somebody of his, somebody of mine to have a you know discussion, whether it be politics, whether it be racial based, political based, whatever it may be. I think that could be a good conversation that. Um, that we could have i think it'd be well, you good know what i'll reach out to him but i you know i can't guarantee anything he's been on the show uh, plenty of times and he was on the show several times last year um mm -hmm. but he's kind of look i'm not even throwing shade i'm just being honest he's one of these cats that's uh you know one way he's one day he's going this way one day he's going that way <laughs> it's cool one day and now he's kind of keeping his distance and so that's All just right. the kind of guy he is not even talking yeah. shit. that's just you know, yeah, I, 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 I have no I beef run. with him, uh, to be clear, and I, right. I would love to host it, but you know, I'll reach yeah, out no on it. Problem. I'll reach out on it. Um, and I was going to ask you, what should we talk about next time we have you on? Like, I mean, we could just do a general general discussion. Uh, or... yeah, we can have a general open discussion. It could be normally it's usually like uh, race relations. I did what I would like. What I do like about Peckerwood in this conversation is uh, we was able to go into the Bible a little bit. Now, yeah, I don't know that hasn't happened too much on. on yeah, your... that doesn't happen. So, and I don't know if that's something you would be interested in doing a Bible discussion. It doesn't have to be. Um, but I know like uh, race is a huge thing in America, even if it's critical race theory. Is it sure. legit or not? Uh, we could talk about Transformers if if uh, you want, but we'll probably be agree with Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the trannies? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I forgot the station I was on. I can say trannies. Yeah, yeah you sorry. can say trannies I'm now uh, on Rumble. But uh, yeah, yeah. you know what? Yeah, a, a discussion on race. Um, also, it's been a while since we had you with a with a so-called Jew uh, yeah. as oh. well. Um, well, that'll be the problem. Listen, you know, every every Black History Month, I play that video of me and you when I pulled out the Hitler That's book. one of the funniest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I completely lost my composure uh, no, when she did that. Uh, and he literally pulled out the book, put it on the camera. I was, it's like a it's like a Nazi book too. I was just losing my shit. Yeah, Rob, uh, right? You have to see your face. And then Ralph, Ralph think he's slick. Ralph said, "Can you show that again? Because we didn't see it." So. Ralph, <laughs> <laughs> and for those who don't know, he was debating uh, like a literal Jewish settler right. uh, in yeah. the West Bank yeah. <laughs> when he pulled this out. Uh, one of the Killstream historic moments for sure. And I, yeah, man. Uh, I say check with the audience too because I know a lot of your followers um, know of me because sometimes they'll comment on my videos. I comment back. So yeah, you if they if, you know if they got somebody in mind, you know I'm definitely interested in coming back. It could be a so-called Jewish man. It could be. You know, a white man, it could be any subject. You just hit me up, and then we could work it from there. All right, I'll do that. And, you All know, right. I'm trying to have a debate on – I'll ask you this while you're still here, and I'll, then I'll let okay. you promote your stuff. I'm trying to get a debate uh, versus a, a so-called Jew, how, how we'd say it. Uh, they would say just Jew. Uh, but uh, Yeah, a, we say so-called Jew, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, 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 a Jew, quote-unquote, versus – uh, somebody on whether or not what's going on in Palestine. I don't know if you care about what's going on in Palestine. Oh, no, that would be a good. No, that that actually I would definitely do that. Like, let's say if you hit me up tonight and say I got somebody for tomorrow, I would do it tomorrow. Well, you know because, what? I might be able to arrange it tomorrow um, because I, I've got this Jewish guy, so-called Jewish guy. Um, right. And I, I'm trying to get him paired up with somebody to debate whether or not what the Israelis are doing is a genocide. Right, in Gaza. exactly. That, right, so the it, Israeli versus Palestine. Yeah, I'll drop that in a heartbeat. Okay, you I'll, know what? I'll work on that tonight, uh, and okay. I'll see um, okay. if you if you're down tomorrow. I'll see if I can get no, that set up. Down. Okay, yep. that'd be that. great because I'm trying to fill that slot. On Rumble. Oh yeah, Phil, 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 Phil
Let's get a so-called Jew for the other slide. We good to go. All right, bet. I'll, I'll do All that. Right. And then I did see this. Okay, they wanted me to read out this super chat. I didn't read it while it was going on because it's a little. I wouldn't normally say the. I wouldn't say these things, but he, he okay, said these things. Right. He said, "Captain, right. you talk like a fucking KRS One song from a snow roached <laughs> to a Velcro head." He said, "Fuck the so-called Jews," is what he said. Uh, <laughs> Uh, in his super chat, a snow roach. I'd never heard that one before. But... I don't know what a snow roach is, but he ain't talking about me. No, no, he was calling was... himself a snow roach. Uh, oh, oh, he's the snow roach. Yeah, yeah. At least he's a roach. But listen, let me let me tell you how racist he is, though. He don't want to be a black roach. He don't want to be a regular <laughs> roach. He don't want to just be a regular roach. He's still he a white roach. roach. <laughs> Nobody ever seen this snow roach. <laughs> <laughs> listen. Listen, he said, he said, I ain't no regular roach. <laughs> He's a snow roach. And I bet you, I bet you the snow roaches are cleaner than the regular roaches. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, that's fine. Even the KRS one reference, I ain't really mad at the KRS one reference. He taught me was Israel full time too. So uh that's fine with me too. But that's a funny ass super chat. That super chat funny. I'm gonna make a clip out of him saying he's a snow roach. That's a new I never knew white people if they want to say roaches. They won't even say they a roach. They got to be a snow roach. That's, yeah, I'm going to say it on Cross the Line Thursday. Snow roaches. White people don't even want to be the same roach as black people. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tell people where they can find you, and I'll work and see if I can get oh. the, I don't know if I can get it set up in 24 hours, but I'm going to try. And no, if not, maybe we can do it next week. No, yeah, next week is cool. I'm just saying. If you, whenever you get it set up, oh, I'll be down. available. Okay, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. I ain't saying you got to do it that fast. Okay. But let's say if you said next Tuesday, I'm down for next Tuesday or next Wednesday, whenever you have it, I'm down for it. So I'm Captain Jazal Yakov. I should be K Man. It's been a pleasure to be on Ralph Show, Kill Stream, or Rumble. Make sure y'all follow him. Make sure y'all follow him on Telegram. I follow him on Telegram as well. Today was a good um discussion with Thomas Peckerwood. His name, not mine. He calls himself Peckerwood. Uh, you can find me. On uh, my website is ishubk.com. That's where you can go to find all the information for my organization, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commander Jenny Hanna. Uh, he has a radio show that he does every Monday on YouTube. It's called World on Fire, right? Uh, America on Fire. It's called America on Fire. If you go on YouTube and put in America on Fire, you'll find Commander Jenny Hanna's YouTube channel. That's his channel. My channel is Cross the Line Radio and Captain Desar Yak Podcast. That's also on YouTube. We do a radio show every Thursday from 10 p.m. to midnight. For all the white people that's on Killstream, if y'all want to be a guest on my show and talk some shit, just hit me up. Ralph knows how to get in touch with me. You could be a guest on my show. We debate Austin just like Ralph debates and brings uh, different people of all races on his show. We do the exact same thing because these type of conversations um, are necessary. Although this conversation was sparked between two black men, the real conversation took place between me and Thomas, and I think that was the most important part. Uh, with that, Ralph, I appreciate you having me on, man. Until next time. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. All right. uh, and I'll no talk problem. to you soon. All right. Captain Tazari Yak and Thomas 777 live on the kill stream. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.